Hey everybody, Galusia here, and really quick, I had to put in a cliff note for this. Um, I did something wrong, or something happened to the footage for my seventh episode, so what you're now going to watch is actually what I originally recorded for the eighth episode. So I'm going to put scale on the spot. Uh, the audio worked out, so maybe he can put up a couple quick cliff notes on screen to give you just like an idea of what happened in that episode seven, but I do apologize that we lost that footage. And then hopefully from episode eight on, everything is fine. So enjoy the video. Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another episode of my Let's Play with No Man's Sky. So today marks a couple things. So first of all, this is the first time I'm recording a No Man's Sky video with my new setup so for those of you in the know I have a new recording and streaming setup my gaming PC is uh, unchanged although I hope to change that unchanging in the future hopefully not the distant future but uh, I set up a streaming PC using my wife's computer because she wasn't using it really anymore and um, she knew that I wanted to improve my setup so she offered for me to use her setup and although her her computer's a, it's a gaming PC it's not like a you know hardcore gaming PC it's not as powerful as mine is um, but it's it's good enough to manage recordings got a new capture card the Elgato 4K 60 Pro Mark II or whatever. Um, and it's pretty good for streaming. It, it'll work for now. For streaming, it, it's a little bit more limiting, but um, it, it definitely still works. And I'm still really excited about it. So that, that's the first thing it marks. Now, it's been actually a week since I've played this game because I've been busy playing other things um mostly zombies but you know i'm getting into this and that now since it's been a week since i played honestly it takes a little bit wow this thing is like i thought it was gonna like well i guess it is technically in a cave yep here we are very bizarre cave <laughs> but we learned the word for accept, so it was worth it. But yeah, it takes a minute to remember to remember what you're even working on. So it's a few different main storylines that I have going on right now, and then some side quests. The main thing of the main like three quests that I have going on right now. Um, this one null is the one that I choose to be paying attention to the most right now because it's taking me down an interesting path because it's wanting me to install a cadmium drive, which I'm pretty interested in doing actually because I want to start going to more systems because this entire playthrough for the most part has uh, more or less been in just this one system you know like I've left a little bit but not much like it's I've been pretty consistently in this system and I really want to get out more and the cadmium drive will allow us to go to the cadmium systems and it'll allow us to gather cadmium so I mean there's all sorts of good reasons for wanting to do that so that's what we're gonna do But I needed to find copper to do that. So I thought, well, what better if I'm going to go on a trip looking for copper? Why not use my signal thingy to find a nearby point of interest? And interestingly enough, it found a giant antenna, which its main purpose is to, <laughs> to find points of interest. So we went from one thing to another. A minor settlement. Very cool. Now, how far away is 
this minor settlement. It looks far. Two hours. Well, we're not going to walk there. Or are we? Man, I am, uh, I am a sucker for language in this game. I keep spotting uh, knowledge stones. Like, I just can't stop. Don't worry. I'm going to jump cut the hell out of this so you guys don't have to deal with me getting tons of knowledge stones. Maybe I will just <laughs> gather knowledge stones on a two-hour flight path of me just running along, making my way to this random minor settlement that probably isn't even that cool. So those of you that are regulars of the No Man's Sky series, since this is, again, like the first episode that I'm recording on my new setup, really curious to know what you think of the, ooh, hello, of the quality and how it compares to the past episodes because obviously the goal here is to improve it. I will say that it's definitely improving it in terms of like, making it easier to record so it's accomplishing that which that in and of itself like even if the quality is like unnoticeable or like just like the same then it's a win because it's definitely made it a lot easier to record um, and it's made it easier for me to transfer the recorded files to my editor scale shout out to scale for all of his hard work um, but yeah, it's made it easier to transfer stuff to him as well. So there's definitely like very obvious and clear uh, upsides. But yeah, so let me know if you notice uh, any, you know, good or bad. Like if you think it looks worse, let me know. Like I really want to know because I'm trying to work out all the kinks still. And then I'm just hoping that everything, you know, turns out right. So we are finally going to go to a red system. How very exciting. There's a few in the area. You can see them. Uh, so that one. So that one's 86. That one's 62. So this is the closest one. It's 62. KF4. K9PF. Okay, I kind of want to go to this one, I think. I think we have better opportunity here. I don't have a things so I don't know ahead of time but I think this is our better bet all right red star hmm I don't see anything here except for this planet there should be a, there should be other planets though oh, uh, this oh god that's why <laughs> Jesus Whoa, look at all the lightning and shit going on. Oh, we gotta scan this thing first. Okay, so obviously it's a chromatic fog planet. That's interesting. Well, I've never, I don't know that I've ever heard of that before, so I'm kind of interested in that. Um, we've got a nicer looking planet over here, although it looks gonna be deceiving. Yep, acidic, okay. So maybe not. Ooh, there's platinum. Where was that boring looking planet? There it is. This is probably like just a rock. Yeah, rattling planet. Oof, high sentinel activity. I don't know about all that. Not every system has readily available platinum in space, so grab a few of those. But I think I'm going to go this huge crazy looking planet. I don't know what a chromatic fog planet looks like, but we're going to find out. This could be pretty hazardous because, I mean, way in space, it looked like it had a pretty violent atmosphere, but that could just be the effects. Could be totally wrong. Main reason we're here, though, is cadmium. We need a small amount of it to do what we need to do, but you never know when you're going to need it in the future, so it's one of those things It's like, while I'm here... 
Like, we're just gonna collect a shizzle ton of it. What the hell are you? Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. That thing is wackadoo. Cadmium. Dude, we should get some magnetized ferrite while we're here, though, too. Because normally, obviously, we have to make that from pure ferrite. So, having it where, you know, we can just mine it is pretty sweet. I'm so confused. Like, it's saying that there's a cadmium deposit here. There's nothing here that looks like cadmium to me. It just looks like normal silica powder type stuff that you can break apart. I'm wondering if it was supposed to be here and then the game spawned like a cave or something and it screwed it up. I don't know. God, that's a weird looking creature. I'm starting to... I don't, it's been a while since I've gone to a cadmium plan, uh, system. When I first got here, and usually when you first show up somewhere, you know, pretty quickly you discover the uh, space station. And, you know, it's like I always say, one of the first things I like to do is go to the space station because if nothing else, you can expand your inventory slot with the uh, vendor there. But I didn't see one. And I don't see any knowledge stones anywhere on the surface of this planet. So it must be that the, at least this cadmium system, and I don't know if it's for all of them, but uh, that they don't have any, uh, like, they're not owned by anybody, you know, because, like, all of them are either one of the three main factions, so maybe because these are with a red star and it's, like, somehow unique and different, uh, we should be able to do that back in our home system. There's a planet that I go to regularly to get, like, uh, salt and things like that. So there's a lot of deep water, so that would work. I think there was a planet here that looked like it was covered in water, too, though, so we could try that. Hexaberry. Weird. I don't think I've ever gotten a Hexaberry before, so that's new. Can I make creature pellets? I can. Come here, friend. What? <laughs> what? Why is this a thing? Since when is this a thing? I didn't know this was a thing. It's the slowest creature I could have possibly got on. What the hell? I honestly got had no idea that you could do that. I'll probably never do it again. Yeah, I have to say this planet's not as uh, interesting to explore. I think it's just because there are no other, like, intelligent life forms. There's no settlements. There's no space station up above. Like, so it's just, it's lacking, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to call my spaceship after this one. We're going to go check out that acid planet, though. I think that might have had water. See if we can get this living pearl situation done. Honest to God, don't even remember why I'm collecting this crap. I know it's to build something, but it's been too long and I just don't remember. But by the end of this episode, we're going to build whatever that thing is. Uh-oh. Superheated rainstorm. Interesting. Well, shit. Let me... Okay, first of all, get rid of him. Second of all, let's call in our spaceship so that we can hide inside of it before that storm shows up. I learned the hard way. I'm like, every time I've died in a storm, it's like, why the hell didn't I call my spaceship? 
It's like, you can literally call it at any time. And then I can just hide in that. Like, how am I that dumb? Wow. Yeah, that's really hot. It's like boiling. It's literally boiling rain. It's over 220 degrees. That's intense. Hold on. Dude, there's an acid rainbow. What? That's hella cool. Here we go. Dude, an acid rainbow. I've never seen a rainbow in this game before. That's pretty cool. Oh. Oh. This is it. This is fucking it. Oh my god, yes. This is fucking it. Guys, finally. Fighting Indeloper Vakeen Warrior requests for procedure. Guys, this is... This is what we've been wanting to happen for fucking ever now. And it's happened in our own system. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. What a great way. I just thought we were going to, like, craft this thing we've been trying to craft, and that's how I was going to end the episode, which is still technically how I'm going to end the episode. But what a great thing to happen, like, right towards the end. God, finally. Dude, this is, like, this is going to take up our whole next episode for sure. We're going to get hella sidetracked here. Well, he has a bunch of... Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Are we actually this lucky? Are we actually this lucky? It's a 19 slot Class A freighter. Class A. And we just get it. We just get it for free. That's it. This is ours now. Class A, bro. Oh my god, dude. Yes! Our ship lacks a fleet command room. Okay. I can fix that. Booyah. Um. <laughs> I had to delete a panel. Okay, there we go. Fleet Commander. Booyah. This is get this gets expensive, by the way. So making this uh, frigate fuel becomes very, very, very expensive. Because we need like a ton of dehydrogen to manufacture it. And I'm sure you noticed, but like when you collect it on like the planet's surface, you get pathetic amounts of it. Pathetic. So this is usually when I would want to get that multi tool upgrade uh, from the, whatchamacallit? The anomaly where you can get 50% more stuff from the mining laser. Not the terrain manipulator, but the mining laser. Oh, that's what I needed a quantum computer for. Oh, that's actually a really good thing. Oh my god, guys, we are getting so much good stuff right now. <laughs> but yeah, it it's uh it's worth it, because you're gonna want to start so a freighter can be a huge money maker for us. Huge. Um because we're just going to be sending out ships on expeditions. So this will be the first one because we have an exploration ship. This is exploration based. And its difficulty rating is 1. So our ship can actually handle it. So we'll assign him. And launch. 
Booyah. And that's like real time. So the fact that, you know, speak with the fleet commander, make contact with fleet commander. Okay. The fact that it takes like an hour and a half to do the mission, like if you save the game, came back in an hour and a half, like it'll be done. You know what I mean? So it's not in game time, it's real game time or real life time. But these ships are awesome, by the way. So there's like down the hall there is like a storage room. Like you can build vaults inside your thing if you want to for additional storage. Like you can add on a lot more like rooms and stuff. Like once you start unlocking stuff, like these freighters are pretty incredible. Also, also like next, like when I get like another ship, for example, actually I already have a ship. It should be here. Remember I had a ship. Well, anyway, eventually, like, your ship collection will be in your freighter. So, like, when you get additional ships, like, they show up here, which is cool. You just have a place where you can kind of, like, access, like, all of your ships. So, it's kind of cool. I, I can't even begin to tell you guys how pumped I am that we just like randomly found a freighter when we showed no don't oh god I <laughs> it's immediately turned around to go to my planet and got sucked into our damn ship hmm okay this is an opportunity so we're gonna take advantage of this right now so a fleet has arrived uh, other than our own obviously uh, we have 3.7 million Bucks? Oh, I should have transferred this shit onto... Can I still do it? Am I close enough? Nope. Can I? Oh, you have to be on board to do it. Okay. Um, see, so there is a... There are some recruitable freighters here. And we don't have a ton of money yet. We haven't, like, really gotten, like, super involved in making money. So we may not be able to afford this. But basically, you just fly towards them. And they allow you to inspect them, and if you decide you want to buy it, then you can. It's actually not that expensive. So, these are really important, actually. This is a support specialist. If you can, you want to send these on every mission. They reduce fuel costs, and just overall, like, you know, usually they have a pretty balance on their stats and stuff. But they reduce fuel costs, so that can be kind of important. Um, obviously, right now, we can only afford one ship, though. So before I just, like, immediately buy the very first ship that I see, I want to look at some others. Holy shit, it's a fucking S-Class. Why am I so broke right now? You know how rare it is? to find an S-Class like this. Look at the stats on this thing. Negative 15% for fuel cost, negative, or negative, but negative 15 fuel cost, negative three fuel cost, negative 2% for expedition duration. Stats are pretty solid. Fuck, dude. Of course I'm broke as a joke. I gotta get my money situation together. How disappointing. Okay. This looks like an exploration ship. We'll go see what he's got going on. I mean, to be fair, though, like, when you first start out, like, you're pretty much going to have to get lower-level ships. Like, you're not going to be able to afford stuff like that. So I'll probably just get that C-class support ship I found. Yes, yeah, uh, this would be nice, being that it's a B-class, but I don't have enough money. Got to start out small, people. You know, let's start out small. We can always retire the ship later if we wanted to. You can also class up your ships with time. Like, the more missions you send them on, the better they become and whatnot. Okay. Now we're really broke. <laughs> so I'm done with that. Let's go home and finish what we actually set out to finish today. Construct the soul engine. Oh, dummy. <laughs> Put the living pearl in storage. Oh my god, I had living pearls in storage. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm cracked. I'm cracked. I'm cracked. I found three on that planet. That's right. Okay, soul engine. Boom. 
Now what? Okay, now it says I need wire looms. Three of them. I have one, of course. God, I really want to finish this before this video is done. Um, okay, let's... Let's do that. Let's just go to the space station really quick. Oh, now I gotta go to the hollow. Hollow, 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 hollow. Same one I keep going to. Um, okay, well, I think that's how we're gonna wrap up today's episode. Because that's like what we've been working towards this whole time. So I would feel pretty shitty if I didn't show you guys the end result of that. So everyone that's still watching the video to this point, in the comments below, say thank you to Scale for working so hard on my edits because this video is almost two hours in recording now. So it's, uh, that's a lot. It's a lot for him to siphon. He has to, when Scale edits, he has to watch the entirety of it first do like a first pass just to make sure that you know he hasn't missed anything you know there's a lot of like spots where i just talk briefly for like 30 seconds so if you're just kind of like scanning through you can absolutely miss that and he has to somehow try to take two hours of footage and whittle that down into a 30 minute video and i told him that i was going to try to make <laughs> my videos shorter so it would be easier for him and there wouldn't be um, you know as much for him to go through but it's not easy like we were talking about episode 2 and I think it was like it's over 30 minutes whatever it is like 34 minutes 36 minutes and we try to keep him under 30 but he's like, I just can't do it. He's like, you do too much. <laughs> and I'm like, yep. In two hours of gameplay, like, obviously, it's going to be hard to, to whittle that down because I'm doing a bunch of crap. So I am very sorry, Scale. But yeah, you guys need to show him some love because he works really hard on these. Not easy. Hmm. Bring Artemis to Nada. Oh. So I basically made a copy of him. Hmm. Well, I'm going to end it there. I feel like this can just kind of keep going. You know? I don't want to get carried away. So, we're going to call the ship, we're going to save, and then that's going to be it. So, next episode, I will do just that. I will bring Artemis to Nada so we can see what's up with that. We'll be able to check on our capital ship because our first expedition will be done. And we're going to do some base expansion, and we're going to get sidetracked a little bit. I'm going to do a couple side quests to work more on base expansion stuff. It's going to be a busy episode tomorrow. Or tomorrow for the next it'll be <laughs> next episode will be really busy a lot for scale to do once again <laughs> so thanks everybody for watching i appreciate the support and i will see all you guys in the next episode have a good one